Welcome to the New Jersey Coffee School. Ah, a delicious latte. Talk about grinding. The grinder is really, really important if you want to make a great cup of coffee. The machine, the grinding machine, is just as important as the expensive espresso machine that you'll need for your shop. So, we're going to do a dose of 18 grams. Some shops use 17, but with our, our recipe calls for 18. First thing you're going to do is put the portafilter on the scale and tar it or zero it out so that we can get the proper dose. Now, we're going to fill the portafilter and measure if we got close to 18. It doesn't have to be exact. 16.2, so we're going to actually put some more in. And now we are at 19. Just remove a little from the top. And close enough, we are at 18. The other thing is, this was set for 3.7 seconds. That'll change depending on how coarse or how fine that you want the grind to be. And we'll get into that variable as you learn how to make coffee. Our dose, as you saw when we ground it, was 18 grams. We're just gonna quickly tamp that. And now we want a yield of about twice that, around 36 grams. So we put our water filter in here. We'll tar our cups. Get the scale back to zero, and now we will start making our great espresso drink. And we want to stop the timer when we hit around 36 grams. 18 in, yield of 36. Ideally, we want the, the time to be between 20 and 30 seconds. And right now, we are close, and we're going to stop when we get our yield, which is right now. This would be a great cup of espresso because we got a yield of 35, close to that 36, and we were within, within the 20 to 30 seconds we were looking for. That is some of the key variables to have a great cup of coffee. So, we now have our 18 grams in, 36 grams out. We're going to just complete the drink. We're going to pour our espresso in our cup. I have here cold milk. Make sure it's cold. Half picture full of milk. And we're just going to steam it. I'm righty, so I'm just going to angle it into this quadrant on an angle. I'm going to count one, two, three, and then I'm going to lift the glass. And you hear that nice swirling sound until you can't hold it anymore. That's when you know it's around 140 to 150 degrees. And right about now, it feels about right. And if you do it right, it'll look like wet paint. Okay, so now we have our espresso, our steamed milk. Again, looks like wet paint, which is perfect. And now it's just a matter of just pouring it into the cup. I like to have the cup a little bit slanted, form a nice base. And then as you get closer, you might want to just try to put a little latte art on top. Let me taste it. Ah, a delicious latte.